Hey guys, so for today's video, I wanted to give you a little review of what I think about the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation. Is that what that's even called? Yeah, it's called the Stick Foundation and it is meant specifically for people with normal to oily skin. So combination oily, combination to oily, combination to normal, whatever you are in between these ranges, this Stick Foundation is meant for you. So to give you a backstory, sorry, I'm just moving my mirror because it's awkward right now. So to give you a backstory, my skin is pretty oily, but I do have like little dry patches here and there. So mattifying foundations tend to be on the drier side and those tend to emphasize those dry patches and you don't want that especially if you have oily skin I know you're trying to look matte but at the same time you don't want your skin to look too dry so I am obsessed with this foundation I only used it yesterday and then again today it is what I'm wearing and I am already completely obsessed with it it is extremely full coverage it is on the matte side it doesn't look unnatural it doesn't look cakey I applied two layers of it and it still doesn't look cakey at all I didn't apply any fix plus or any finishing spray I just applied a light dusting of um, translucent powder and it still looks pretty natural it's not sticky if I touch my face it doesn't feel heavy on my face like I really feel like I'm not wearing much and I do have powder bronzer and blush so I wanted to go over a few things so the first thing is the amount that you get in here so you get nine grams of foundation or 32 ounces and in comparison to other normal foundations you do get way less but I've heard that that's pretty normal it's just the way that stick foundations tend to be from what I hear so that's fine you don't get as much as other ones but it does seem to be a decent amount of foundation as you can see right here it is only $25 which is a great price for a high-end foundation like this brand so I feel like I can keep repurchasing this foundation and not feel too bad about it other foundations tend to be 40 to 50 dollars sometimes even more i know the hourglass foundation is crazy expensive and i do own that one and it is a mattifying foundation but i don't love it nearly as much as this one this one is amazing about the packaging the packaging is super cute it is travel friendly whenever i travel i try to keep all my makeup in my carry-on because i don't trust my makeup in the checked-in bag if you know what i mean like i don't want them to break anything so this one is great because it's not liquid so it won't count against you in the liquid limit that they give you so the packaging is super travel friendly you just throw it anywhere it won't break because it's not glass it feels very high-end and looks very high-end with the black and rose it's like a rose gold to me that's what it looks like so it is beautiful and the packaging it's just one of these caps that you just push down and close but it feels very secure other caps like this tend to be on the loose side sometimes and then it just opens and your foundation is everywhere or you know dirt gets in there but this one is very very sturdy and safe so love that so the formula of this foundation is amazing it is matte as you can see but it doesn't cling on to dry patches which is a problem that I've had with other mattifying foundations that are meant for oily skin this one doesn't cling on to my dry patches it looks like skin and the color is what I am most obsessed about I am always on the hunt for the perfect foundation color I've never had a foundation that matches me so incredibly perfect color wise this just blends into the rest of my skin it's just incredible it is exactly the color of my skin you will see in the little demo that I will include somewhere in this video you will see that it just looks exactly like the color of my skin maybe not my face but it matches my neck perfectly which is what you want you don't want to match your face you want to match your neck and then blend that into your neck and that's when it looks the most natural so the color of this one is incredible this one is in the color golden and to give you an example I will insert swatches 
colors of four other foundations that I own and the colors that I have to give you a comparison in case you have those in that color and you don't know which color to get for this one because to be honest I couldn't decide looking online at the swatches of this even the little chart that they give you I could not decide what color to get so I had to visit an Ulta and swatch it and that's how I know what color I was if you have a matte foundation I know that they give you the perfect comparison of that which I don't have but I will also insert that so the ones that I want to show you are these four the makeup forever ultra HD foundation the Tarte Amazonian clay foundation the Too Faced born this way foundation and the Maybelline matte and poreless foundation I think the one that matches the color the best is the Maybelline matte and poreless foundation and this one is in the color 228 soft tan so that is about it thank you so much for watching this video I hope it was helpful for you because I know picking a foundation can be so challenging so hard and you just never know if it's for you you don't know if you should invest in it you don't know if it's gonna work you don't know if the color is gonna work so I really hope that this video was helpful to you if you enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos um, I apologize for my brows they are misbehaving lately I need to go get them done so that's about it thank you so much for watching and yeah just give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe bye